let me tell you my feeling. We are we are one of the largest investors on the planet, okay? And uh, I, I tell you as an investor, I would love to invest in Africa, but my investment is not secure. And it takes a lot of effort to, to secure it. So I, we have to very hardly look at uh, the... Um, you know, the deals itself, the country itself, of course, it's, uh, it's, uh, you cannot actually also blanket all of Africa with the same rules. There's definitely corruption in every country in the world, but in Africa, it's more, and they don't hide it very well. And in some countries, the magnitude of corruption are much, much, much higher than other, than other others in Africa. But I still say that I believe Africa is a very, very lucrative place to invest if you can secure your investment. I think the world is going to become more dependent on Africa because of its uh, natural uh, resources, okay? Also, the, the very cheap cost of labor also. I think they'd become a competitor to China. You know, in Africa, people say, don't give them a salary. Just, just feed them. Give them food and water, they will work. So, uh, I mean, you cannot even beat that. So I think they would be a competitor to China. And in nearly every meeting I'm having with respect to investment, we are seriously looking at Africa. It's just a very challenging place to do business. It's extremely challenging. Um, there's, um, you know, instability, okay? And, you know, you know, when you're coming into, so for example, I have one of my dear friends is centralizing, is one of the largest insurance companies in the world. I, I would not say the name, but they're centralizing all of their uh, European operations out of Ireland. So he goes, he sits with the Irish government, sits with the Prime Minister, sits with the Minister of Finance, they agree things in that meeting. Okay? Now he go back, goes back to his board and he says to his board, okay, this is what I've agreed with the government. I'm committed, I will commit for the next 10 years, we're going to be here, or 15 years to be in Ireland. Okay? The very next day, if the government changes, it's still, the commitment will still be honored for the duration that it was committed. If you do such a thing in Africa, the next day the government changes, you have to start from zero. Now the problem, you made investment. As I keep telling people, it's very easy to um, accommodate the investor. All he wants to know or she wants to know is the, to, to have their, um, their investment secured. They don't want guaranteed because when you do an investment, you could not make money. That's fine. That's not what we want. We just want to make sure the minimum security that at least if I invest I know tomorrow the rules it's like I'm playing football and I go to play the game and then this become rugby I have the wrong players I have the wrong team right so if I, all I want is just to know that it's football and if they can guarantee that everybody will flood and that's why you know the esteemed minister from Africa wasn't happy about my comments I'm not saying something from the tree I'm saying something that everybody knows but you know the reason I'm sitting in my seat is because I say the truth and I'm not afraid of anybody. I tell, this is the fact. And that's why I'm respected, because I say the truth. Now, there's corruption, let us not put it under the table. Let's go and address the problem. How do we fix the problem? You know? Thank you. Thank you.